I got a report on what I see. So for you, Aries, you have the star, queen of pentacles, and the hermit. So um, a lot of you, Aries, are very much so happy. The reason why is because if somebody's been giving you a difficult time, somebody's been really getting on your nerves, making you feel down or having you feel down about yourself, this person that represents this star card, they're regretting their decision on making you Aries feel so isolated, like you didn't matter. Um, the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit represents, you know, your your how you feel about yourself, which is good. You feel good about yourself um, uh, because hanging out with them was a terrible decision because that's what it is that they that they were trying to make you do because it's someone that you were trying to hang out with and they they made you feel small because they're in a competition with you so now the empress and the seven of swords is that you finally getting some sort of respect out of them because you told them you told them no you told them you know what you showed them that you had boundaries you wasn't going to allow them to disrespect you and this this really goes for anybody really you Aries, this really goes for anybody because for you Aries, it's very much so about you needing to get that respect from other people so that, you know, if they're going to hang out with you, they have to respect you, right? It's not just like you and love you and all of that. They have to also respect you. They have to also make sure that, that you know, you, that you, when you say no, they take it seriously. You know, and not try to use you or misuse you and try to get you caught up with any of that stuff, take things from you, any of that. Um, and the justice represents they, they tried and you showing that you're not down with the disrespect is what it is that needed to be done because now you're not hanging around them anymore. This is what's happening to them. They don't have a whole lot of people that really rock with them like that. So now the Page of Swords is the Page of Swords is about how, uh, sorry about that. The Page of Swords is about how this is a situation for, for uh, well, you, where they have, well, where you're, you're leaving them to their own devices, is what I'm trying to say. And there's nothing that they can ultimately do to really stop that because they can't force you to do something that you don't want to do, obviously. Um, and a lot of you Aries are even going, you may, some of you may even go as far as, as to be prepared just in case if they do decide to come back in the future, you Aries pretty much already know what's your, your plan for them. If they do decide to come back the four of pentacles and the three of swords is about how, um, you know, you having boundaries is really, a uh, is really a problem to them. You having boundaries. Um, yeah, it's strange like that. I don't know why it is that people think that usury is attractive, but for some odd reason, they do. And um, they don't understand that there's no point to that. But this person tried it with you and they found out the hard way that you Aries are a lot more a lot more strategic than what it is that they thought. They thought that you Aries was just fire signs that just made big flames and you know have a lot of personality when y'all are ready and you have your own unique way of doing things, but they didn't know that you were so experienced with somebody trying to run game on you. And of course you Aries are because being a hopeless romantic like you Aries are, you have to be highly intelligent. If you're not, you're gonna get played from a lot of people because a lot of people will try to see what they can get. So the Eight of Cups now represents, well, for you, you Aries are moving forward trying uh, and, and you will talk to other people. So let's clarify, let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Hermit. Mm. 
what I'm also getting to is that the hermit represents your disappointment in them, that you wanted to give them a chance and that they ultimately blew it because they would show you that they can't be trusted while you were trying to give them a chance from the jump. So now you have the, the death card, the four of wands, the hierophant, and then you have the two of wands to clarify the uh, hermit. So the, the death card and the four of wands represent you don't trust them anymore and you shouldn't. These are someone new that you're getting to know and they're already running game on you, you know, or you're not with them anymore, but they are already running game on you. Some of you Aries may be still with them. Point is, if this person is asking for, uh, for a whole lot from you, you need to stay ahead of that and understand that they're using you. So now the Hierophant and the Two of Wands represents because to them, right, to, to them, they were casing the joint, meaning that, <laughs> meaning that they were ultimately talking to you to, to see if you were a lick, if you would give them gift, cash, gifts, cash, prizes, trips. And it's not necessarily with you in particular, right? They would have done that to anybody. Again, they are looking for someone that was able to, um, they were, you know, they were looking for someone that was able to give them those things that they wanted. And they thought that when you were trying to get to know them, they were taking your kindness for weakness, thinking that you were a lick. You were a person that was just going <laughs> to, you know, send them gifts and cash and prizes, take them here and not ask for a whole lot. You know what I mean? And, and while they sit up there and ultimately, right, take you for all it is that you got. Because that's a scenario that a lot of you Aries have, you know, you got to watch out for. Swindlers, you know, people who will use love as a means of getting their foot in the door to get you to lower your guard so that they can now take things from you and ask you for things. Be and again, you being the hopeless romantic, that's one, that's one of your biggest strengths, but it's also your, one of your biggest weaknesses as well. So you have to be aware of that. So now let's clarify the justice. So to clarify the justice, you have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Five of, excuse me, the Four of Swords, and then you have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Swords represents here they are now, right? Trying to talk to somebody else, <laughs> doing it to somebody else. And the other person, ultimately, Four of Swords, uh, Ace of Pentacles, the other person has to be on their P's and Q's because if they're not, that's my dog down there, if they're, if they're not, they're going to get played. Because, yeah, this person is a big time, a big time player. They love telling people or convincing people that they're in love with them so that those people can lower their guard so that they can start to, again, swindle them right hustle ask for things from them and then when they get what they want they leave and they move on and they go talk to somebody else it's a good thing that you aries was over here on my channel paying attention to that and peeping game they're not meant to be trusted they were never meant to be trusted um let's clarify the eight of cups king of swords six of wands Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, to clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, um, yeah, they didn't think that you had a brain. But you Aries are not worried about that. You're moving forward. It sucks that somebody only sees you as a body or attractive or some money or whatever the case may be. And they're willing to go to the extreme, like telling you that they love you or trying to convince you of that in order for them to have or get certain things out of you. The Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles is about how, so for you, Aries, you just have to continue to get to know other people and make sure that 
you know, they're not immediately asking you for the whole world on the first hangout, right? The first date. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subs. I have 95, 77. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.